Welcome back to Terra Nova, the channel that expands the boundaries of our knowledge about Earth and the universe. Today we embark on a journey that goes far beyond our home, to a place among the stars. We're talking about the red planet, Mars, and the fascinating and challenging prospect of its colonization. With advances in space technology and the growing interest from organizations like SpaceX and NASA, the idea of humans living on Mars could become a reality in our lifetime. But what would that look like, and what challenges would we have to overcome to achieve this goal? Let's find out. SpaceX and Mars SpaceX, Elon Musk's private space exploration company, has an ambitious goal of colonizing Mars to make humanity a multi-planetary species. Musk argues that this is necessary to ensure the survival of humanity in the event of a global catastrophe on Earth. The main vehicle for this mission is the Starship, a fully reusable spacecraft capable of carrying both crew and cargo. It is the most powerful launch vehicle ever developed, capable of carrying up to 150 metric tons fully reusable and 250 metric tons expendable. SpaceX's strategy involves using the natural resources of Mars, especially water, H2O, and carbon dioxide, CO2, to produce fuel for the return journey to Earth. This would allow the Starship to refuel on Mars and eliminate the need to carry enough fuel for a round trip to Earth. NASA also has plans for the exploration and potential colonization of Mars. NASA has already conducted several successful Mars missions, including the rover missions Spirit, Opportunity, Curiosity, and Perseverance. These missions have collected valuable data on Mars's geology, atmosphere, and potential signs of past life. NASA is also planning a mission called Mars Sample Return, which aims to bring samples from Mars back to Earth. This mission would enable us to directly examine Mars material and could provide crucial information for future manned missions to Mars. Water is essential for human life on Mars, but the red planet does not have readily available water, or does it? There is evidence that water exists on Mars. Researchers from the National Institute for Astrophysics in Italy reported in 2018 that they had discovered a roughly 20 kilometer wide lake located about 1.6 kilometers beneath the south pole of Mars. Scientists from the U.S. Geological Survey also reported in the same year that they had found eight regions on Mars where erosion had exposed large cross-sections of ice layers, ranging from 1 to 100 meters below the planet's surface. The technology for extracting water trapped in Martian soil does not yet exist, but NASA hopes to fill this gap through its Mars Ice Challenge, an annual competition aimed at university students. One of the primary requirements a planet needs to support human life is an atmosphere. Unfortunately, Mars only has a very thin atmosphere, primarily consisting of carbon dioxide and containing little oxygen that humans need to breathe. Moreover, it contains very little nitrogen that plants need to survive. Life on Mars would be impossible without a substantial air supply. Additionally, the atmospheric pressure on Mars is very low, meaning astronauts would have to wear pressure suits to survive in space or live in pressurized habitats. Radiation on Mars is another major issue. Earth naturally shields us from radiation, thanks to its thick and dense atmosphere and its magnetic field. The magnetic field deflects most of the solar wind that would strip away the ozone layer that protects us from harmful radiation. Most celestial bodies have magnetic fields, but most are not as robust as Earth's. Mars is no exception, although its magnetic field is exceptionally weak compared to Earth's. This is a problem. When astronauts land there and establish a base, they will constantly be bombarded by much more radiation than humans have ever experienced. And not only landing on Mars, but also the journey there, astronauts will be fully exposed to radiation since they won't have the protection we have here on Earth. To overcome these challenges, significant technological advancements are needed. The development of advanced life support systems capable of sustaining humans for extended periods, efficient and reliable methods for extracting and using Martian resources, and improved radiation shielding are among the critical areas of research. Fortunately, considerable progress has been made in space technologies. 
space habitats, such as inflatable modules and compact living quarters, are under development, and 3D printing technologies show promise in constructing habitats using local materials on Mars. Additionally, advancements in robotics and artificial intelligence could significantly aid in the construction and maintenance of Martian infrastructure. The colonization of Mars would require a strategic approach with a phased plan for establishing a sustainable presence on the planet. Early missions would likely focus on proving the technology and conducting extensive research to address unknowns and risks. Subsequent missions would involve building habitats and infrastructure, conducting scientific studies, and expanding the human presence on Mars. The colonization of Mars is a fascinating and challenging endeavor. Many technical, scientific, and logistical hurdles need to be overcome. However, with each step we take toward this goal, we expand our understanding of the universe and our ability to live and work within it. It is an adventure that tests the limits of human knowledge, capabilities, and courage. And it is an adventure worth undertaking. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Don't forget to subscribe to Terra Nova and activate notifications to not miss any of our future explorations. Until next time, as we continue pushing the boundaries of the known and exploring the unknown. Until then, stay curious and marvel at the wonders of the universe in which we live.